Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. This tutorial will be an introduction to triggers and I want to give a shout out to Lord of Pit. Thanks Lord of Pit for helping me with this, um, keep bringing us tips. Um, this is actually going to be part one of I don't know how many parts um, where I play around with triggers, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you all the different ways to deactivate a force field. So here's the force field, it's probably not the best um, not the best placement of a force field or the door to use, but it, it will serve my purposes here. I also put in a console um, and an invisible object where this console is. And I put these objects in not because I need to use them all to deactivate a force field, but I want to use each one of them in different ways in this tutorial. So, you know, don't think you have to repeat all the steps that I've, I've put in initially. Oh, and another thing that I did was I put in two Orion slave girls in cages, and I put an invisible wall in front of the cage in case I want to use the invisible wall to beam them out or to rescue them. I can't really beam them out right now, but um, that's really what I did with the map. Let me go to the editor, and you'll see there's my slave girls, there's an invisible wall, there's my force field. Um, my console and an invisible object where the other console is. Now if you just want to do this a simple way just put in the force field, click on the force field and you'll notice this tab we're used to. It's um, got the information about the force field, the X, Y, and Z coordinates, the rotation degree. What's new is the states tab. And When you click on the states tab it shows a um, progression that you can manipulate. So right now it's set to its default and it starts in an initial state of hidden. You can't change this box. What you can change is from when it goes hidden to visible and I have it set immediately because I want to deactivate the force field. I don't want to enable a force field. So it's immediately going to be visible and I want to make it where it goes from visible to hidden. And one way I can do that is to select this component complete. And when I select this component complete, it gives me a new tab here, a tab called triggers. And that tab allows me to manipulate a interact text. So I'll write deactivate force field. I can choose an animation. Um, to ascribe to my tune while I deactivate the force field. Let's go with, oh, let's punch the force field. Punch hand. I don't know what that's going to look like. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, here I am on the map, and all I need to do is walk up to the force field. It gives me an interact text of deactivate the force field, which triggers my tune to I guess act like she's going to punch it and that deactivates the force field and I can come in and save the Orion slave girls. Okay, that's one way to deactivate a force field. Now another way we could do this was instead of using component complete or rather this component complete, we can use component complete and component complete allows us to pick an object other than the force field to use to disable the force field. So if we select component complete, let's select the console. And once we select the console, it makes it where once we interact with the console, the force field knows that it's supposed to go from visible to hidden. And notice that here there's no little trigger tab, triggers tab that pops up that lets you interact or change the interact text, but rather you have to go to the console itself and don't mess with its default settings, but just go to this triggers tab and from there you can change the interact text of the console and how it can be used to, de to deactivate the force field. You can also choose an animation associated with your tune as you interact with the console. So let's see how that looks. Okay, here I am back on the map and 
There's the force field. Nothing happens when I walk up to it. But the console is flashing, and I can interact with the console and choose to deactivate the force field. So once I do that, the force field disappears. And I can go in and rescue the Orion slave girls. Okay, so let's go back to the editor. We'll go back to the force field. And instead of using component complete, let's use component reached. And it asks me to select a component and it says there are no maps available that contain this object type. Well, it's looking for a marker. Um, it's saying component reach, you have to reach the marker. So let's put in a place marker. And I'll go back to the general tab. Let's edit that down to uh, 10. And I'll put that marker just where the force field is. So when I go back to the force field, click on the states tab and I can go from visible to hidden by selecting the place marker that I want to interact with. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so there's the force field and it should automatically disappear once I get close to it. There it goes. And now I can rescue the Orions. Another way to deactivate the force field is to use objective in progress. Now notice that everything I've done so far hasn't involved the story tab. It doesn't have to involve the story tab. Um, you can involve the story tab if you want, right? You could make the objective to reach the marker and that would correspond with a um, component reached trigger. Um, but otherwise you can use all those triggers without incorporating it into the story tab into the story progression. It can just be things you can do to add immersion to the maps. But if I want to include it in the objective, I have to have objectives, right? So I'm just going to use two, two interact with objects because I have two objects. I have, well, I have a couple different objects, but two of the objects that I do have is um, the console so let's deactivate the force field. We'll pick the console. Don't worry about the mission transition tab right now. And we can change that interact text to deactivate the force field. I'm not going to mess with um, picking an animation. I'll let you do that. Then the second task is after I deactivate the force field, I want to rescue the Orions. And the object that I want to interact with there is the invisible wall that I put by the Orion cages. And I'll make the interact text rescue the rescue the girls. Okay, so there's my mission, there's my story tab. It involves here I'm just gonna change this um, mission. It involves scanning a console which deactivates force field followed by saving the Orion slave girls. Now I need to tell the force field what's going on. So I'll go back to the force field and if I use objective in progress it means that the force field will go from visible to invisible when I'm doing a certain objective. If I pick the first objective which is deactivate the force field well it will immediately be invisible. So I want to pick the second objective to rescue the Orions. That way, when that objective is in progress, after I scan the console, then the force field will disappear and I can go to the second objective, which is in progress. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, here I am. Is um, There's the console. My mission is to deactivate the force field. So I'm at the console and I can interact with it. and that makes the force field go down. Then my next objective is to rescue the Orions and I can do that by interacting with the invisible wall. One other way that I, I could do this is instead of using that console I could incorporate a console that already exists on the map and I can do that 
by putting an invisible object where the console is. So let's say that I'm doing the same thing, but instead of using that console that I put in, I'll use the invisible object that I put in. And I'll leave everything else the same. Let's see, let's see how that looks. Okay, so I'm back in the map, and my mission is to deactivate the force field. So I have to find out how to do that, and one way I can do that is by finding the invisible object. So once I use that console, the force field disappears. And I'll go back to the editor and I'll show you one last way to deactivate the force field. And instead of using objective in progress, I will use objective complete. And I can specify, well, this happens after I complete the first objective. So the first objective is to deactivate the force field. And it will look exactly the same as it looked in what I just showed you. Okay, I think that's that's my introduction to triggers. Um, the next parts of these tutorials will show you some different neat tricks that you can use. Um, please keep sending us tips. Please leave feedback at the forums, the blog. Please visit us in the chat room, and please help us edit the UGC wiki. Okay, thanks again to Lord of Pit for helping with me with this. I hope this serves as a useful introduction to you guys. All right, thanks.